guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, hope you guys seen the update video about my upload times and stuff. And that explains why uh, for the next few days it's going to be a lot of collections, but I'm not going to get into all that. Let's just keep going with this video, and as you can tell from the title, this is my uh, game console collection. And uh, just so you guys know, it's all Nintendo. It's all Nintendo. I take back out of one, one console that is not a Nintendo console. It is a, um, uh, it's a PSP, but I do not know where it is, so I'm not show that off in the video. And I have some other additional consoles that I don't, I'm like, I'm running short on time. So I don't have time to show you them, but I will tell you what they are uh, right now. A Wii, a Nintendo 64. Oh, and a Retron. I guess really that doesn't count as Nintendo. But... Let's just hop on into the first thing in this list, which is my, uh, Game Boy Advanced. I think I made a video about this one, like, where how I, I just got this one out of a trade with my friend. I, I, actually, I have two Game Boy Advances, so you guys may not have seen this one. I don't even know if this is the one I trade for, or paid for. But, uh, it's in pretty man condition. It's missing the back, it's got a few scratches, a little dirt. Focus it on here for you guys. It's relatively nice, and before you ask, it does work. And that's really, this is my Game Boy Advance, I love it. I really, I traditionally, well, usually I don't play on it, but I do occasionally. But, oh, now for the next item on my list. My Game Boy Advance SP. I don't know what model number this is. I think it's AG101. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember which one has the backlight. But this one is the one with the backlight. I don't know if that's on or not, but I will show you guys in case you do not believe me. Backlight. Love this thing. It's in good condition, really. Just like a few little bit like stuff on it. Like a few scratches on the top cover of it. It kind of blends in in the background. Sorry about that, guys, but, I mean, hopefully it doesn't bother you all too much. And I'm sorry my camera's off-centered. My, uh, charger is tugging on it. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut that. <laughs> sorry about that, in case I don't cut it. Drop my phone fell off when I was trying to adjust it, so it wasn't off-centered. Like... That. Okay, my charger will talk on it. I guess I'm just gonna have to. You guys, sorry, I was gonna have to deal with it for a few videos because I gotta do all my all my recording right now so I can get to editing. But that's really all for my Game Boy Advance. I will go on to my next uh, item on the list. Oh, and just so you guys know, I'm going to be doing a video on in the future, maybe next week probably because of time to gather my games. I'm gonna do like a video game game collection, and in that future video I'll also feature my N64 and uh, so on. The next item on our list is a Nintendo DS Lite. And this is because I do not have a Nintendo DS, like a classic a box, like a brick one. I got this one, I got the stickers from the Guitar Hero game on it. Because this was not mine, this is my brother's, because my parents did not trust me with my own device. Because I was a pretty young when this came out, so I did not have one. I got stuck with just a Game Boy. But I enjoyed it, and I eventually got two DS lights when uh, my brothers. Sorry, guys. I just realized I got away from the camera, and you can't hear me. I'm. S I apologize for that. But like I just said, I got stuck with a Game Boy. I'm not gonna complain about that because I love Game Boy, but. Would have been nice. Okay. So that's all for the DS Lite. Nothing special there. Pretty good condition other than... I did it again. It's in pretty good condition with other than the fact that um, the uh, hinge on it is broken. Sorry about that. I'm trying to find my uh, next time on the list. The 3DS. Normal, the normal 3DS. I do have a Nintendo 3DS XL. But I figured, 
that wasn't important to showcase in the video. I do have it, but like, Nintendo 3DS and XL are basically the same thing, it's just one's bigger, so I'm not showing it off. Relatively good condition, I've had it for a few years, just scratches, like, cracks here and there. Screens are fine. Just the LNR buttons do not work at all. Unless you blow on them really hard, and that doesn't even really last. I gotta focus on Batman, because it looks like he's blending in. Do not want that. And, uh, for the final item on our list. Actually, I think I'm gonna change the title of this video to my Nintendo. He has a collection that, because that's all I've done. You guys should know what this is. Because you might not, you may already know. Ooh, that sound gave it away. Because I do not have a new Nintendo 3DS. I got a Nintendo Switch. I love this thing. I got the one with the gray joy cons because I did not like the neon, neon trick guns a whole lot. I got me these, like, Super Mario, like, Joy-Con guards here. Um, set this down in the background and show you. Here's the case I got for it. It's pretty nice, uh, Mario case, huh? I was gonna recommend you all a case. It'd be this one, like, this little one that goes with it, or just, uh, the, like, the most recent Mario case, which is my absolute favorite, which I have to have. The Super Mario Odyssey one, because that's the reason I'm only going to be opening two booster packs, is because I'm saving up for that game. I love the Switch, though. The only game I have for it right now is a... Sorry, I broke my Joy-Con, and it, like, slides off without even having to press the button. The only game I have for this right now is uh, Breath of the Wild, because I had Mario Kart, but I didn't really care for it a whole lot. I'm going to buy it again. I don't know why I sold it. But yeah, I, I remember... I saw it as something I can get Ocarina of Time for my 3DS. Anyway, uh, this is in like, great condition. I'm not gonna hurt this at all. I got a screen protector. I just got Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna buy Mario Kart and Odyssey in the future, along with Minecraft. And that is, surprisingly, all that I have for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is all I have, really, handheld-wise, uh, sorry if you guys hear noises in the background, I don't even know what's going on, guess somebody took the last donut, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'll talk about the games I have in my system right now, cause, uh, I got time to kill, I don't gotta start recording the second, cause I got everything, like, my recordings down. With my recording down time, I got that down to a T. I know exactly when I need to start uploading. My Game Boy Advance, SP, I got Pokemon Leaf Green version. I got this for um, uh, a Flash Pot vinyl in five bucks for my friend. I think he subscribed to my channel. If you are, Matthew, comment down below. Uh... If you do comment down below, I will also link her channel in the description. Cause I don't know if he wants uh, his uh, real name revealed or not. So comment down below and tell me. Uh, well, don't comment down below because I would reveal it. <laughs> I'm stupid sometimes. And my 3DS, I just got him uh, Pokemon Y. I love this one. You know, I'll get it to focus for a second. You can't see the artwork. I love this game so much. I just got the legendary Pokemon Evelta or Evita, however you want to pronounce it. That is all. Now to my Game Boy games. These are a majority of them. They range from Game Boy to Game Boy Advance. Because I get a few like variety here and there. I'm recording. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My brother does not know how to knock before he enters a room. We're gonna start and go from uh, oldest to newest. With the uh, oldest game here being. Sorry, guys, I got it in the case. I can't get it out. Sometimes I just hate the Game Boy cases. 
Uh, first game on my list is a Pokemon Yellow version special Pikachu edition. I got this game for seventeen dollars at half price books. As you can tell on the case. In this thing, no joke. Mint condition. Perfect. You do not know how excited I was when I found this. And um you probably you guys I should have discussed this at the beginning of the video. But like you're probably wondering why I just don't have my Pokemon card collection in like uh Part after part after part in a row. Oops, my camera's about to fall. But that is because I wanted to space it out. It's because, uh. I don't know, I just feel like spacing it out. Like, you guys. Right, well, it really. Sorry, my camera keeps falling off. Cut that. Okay, guys, I don't know if I cut or not, but if so, I am back. And, uh, really, um, the reason is because, like, I want to give you guys a variety. I don't want to feel like I'm just repeating because I'm lazy or anything. Okay, that's really all. But, uh, next game, all my, my only Game Boy Color game I have, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Got it for $10 at my local game, retro game store, Final Boss Games. Now we're going to go from newest... Well, oldest to newest in my Game Boy Advance. Actually, I don't really know what order these go in, so I'm gonna wing it. Uh, first on our list, Super Mario Advance, with like a destroyed sticker artwork. I got this for like five bucks at half price of books at well. No, oh, seven ninety nine. Still not bad at all. Now I got Super Mario World. A little bit of marker on it. I got it with that trade in Game Boy. Super Mario Advance 2, I love this game. Still haven't got to beat it. Beat it. Next on the list, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, and I love it. It's a pretty nice Spider-Man game, like one of my favorite 2D ones of all time. And finally, last but not least, I got this one uh, off of GameStop.com, and I was a little disappointed in it. Because, like, I can see that this sticker is, like, I don't even know. Why is my camera not focusing? See if that'll help, guys. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Some of you can tell. Yeah, there we go. Loaded. The sticker was damaged quite a bit. And that was extremely disappointing for me. Refocus on there, because that is all I'm going to have for the video. Because I got to start uploading. Well, I got to start recording in like uh, two minutes. Oh, my. I didn't realize I had gone on this long talking about gambling games. I don't regret it, though. I like talking about video games. I mean, that's the reason I started this ch one of the reasons I started the ch channel. Main reason, because, like, like I said in my, uh, other video, I just want to spread joy, like many people have done for me. Like, you guys are bullying art. Oh my gosh. I love his channel so much. And Unlisted Leaf, uh, Your Pal Ross, Myth Sand Productions. Really, like, I know not all of them have been, well there's more, I'm just not going to list all of them because there's a bunch. They have all inspired me, they are, the, they are the reason I do YouTube, because I just wanted to give people the same joy that they have given me, and to be with other people to experience that, and big shout out to them, if you haven't heard of them or watched their channels, go check them out, or, I don't know if I can put links in the description, but I will try my best. I'll list them out again. The ones I did list, there's more, but don't have time to list them all. Myth Sand Max. Well, Myth Sand Productions. Uh, Your Pal Ross. Mm, Unlisted Leaf. And Leonhart. I don't, like, Myth Sand has quit, quit YouTube for a little while. He's starting back again. So is Your Pal Ross. They're great YouTubers. If you don't like the games they play, still give them a chance. They make great content. And, uh, that is all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.